Hi, for this video, we're going to solve a system of three equations. Um, this particular one uses a, b, and c instead of x, y, and z. It really doesn't matter what variables you have. Um, you could use any variables in a system of three equations. Um, for this, what we are going to do is we're going to use elimination to solve this. And elimination really probably is the easiest way of doing this because what we want to do is we want to first take it from three equations down to a system of two equations because we know how to solve that. We know techniques. We can either use elimination or substitution um, to solve once we get down to two equations. So when you start this, you kind of want to make a decision as to which variable would be the easiest to cancel out. So if you look at A, none of them are opposites of each other. So if I look at 3, negative 5, and negative 4, none of them can I just add together and automatically cancel out A. Um, I can't multiply 3 by anything to get either 4 or 5, so this one is going to take a lot of work um, to eliminate that variable. If we look at the second one at B, I could automatically, if I add the first equation with the third equation, I could automatically get my B's to cancel out. And if I multiply the middle equation by 5 and add it to the first equation, then I can get my B's to cancel out. So this is a good um, choice right now. It's looking like it's pretty easy. Let's just look at C to see if it would be any easier. Um, but if we look at this, we can see that we don't have any ma that automatically cancel out. There's none that have opposite signs in front of them. So I would have to multiply and I would have to multiply all of my equations multiple times in order to get things to cancel out. So what we're going to do is I'm going to choose to eliminate B. And every question that you're presented with, you have to look at what you're given to see which one is going to be the easiest. So like I said, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the first equation. So the 3A plus 5B plus 5C. So I'm going to take equation 1 and I'm going to add it to equation 3. So that's our first step that we're going to do. So I have negative 4a minus 5b minus 4c equals 0. So if I add these two together, I get 3a minus 4a, which is negative 1a. My b terms cancel out. 5 plus 4 gives me 1c equals 2. So I still can't solve this equation because there's still two variables in there. So I need to eliminate again. So what I could do is I could either multiply the middle equation by negative 5 and add it to the third equation, or I can multiply the middle equation by positive 5 and add it to the first equation. So that's what I'm going to do. So the second thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take equation 1. plus 5 times equation 2. So I'm going to take the first equation, I'm going to keep it the same, the 3a plus 5b plus 5c equals 2. Remember, our goal is to get it to where we have a system of two equations with two variables in it. And we want the same two variables. It wouldn't make sense to eliminate a different variable. We're still trying to eliminate b. So when I multiply the, this equation by 5, so I'm doing 5 times equation 2, I would end up with negative 25a because 5 times negative 5 is negative 25. 5 times negative 1 would give me negative 5b. 5 times negative 6 would give me negative 30c. And then 5 times negative 1 would give me negative 5. So when I add these two together, again, we achieved the goal that we wanted to get b to cancel out. And we would be left with negative 22a minus 25c equals negative 3. So I'm now going to take these two equations that I got it down to, and I'm going to solve the negative 1a plus c equals 2, and the negative 22a minus 25c equals negative 3. Okay. Remember, when you have a system of two equations, you want to, again, get your variables to cancel out. So I'm going to ignore everything else that I have. I'm just going to focus on this part right here. 
I can either multiply the top equation by negative 22 to get my A terms to cancel out, or I can multiply the top equation by positive 25 to get my C terms to cancel out. So I would be left with negative 25A plus 25C equals 50. And the negative 22A minus 25C equals negative 3 is going to stay the same because remember with elimination we want opposites and we already now have opposites in front of the C's so my C terms would cancel out if I add these two together. So this would give me negative 47A equals positive 47 and we get our first answer. So all of this work to get our first answer. Remember that we are not done because we do need to find B and C. So what we're going to do is we're going to keep working with this system of two equations in order to find C. So what I'm going to do is, and it doesn't matter which one I pick, um, I could choose to plug it back into either of these two equations. I'm going to choose to plug it back into this one just because C is already by itself, and then I don't have to do any extra work. So I would just plug this in as negative 1 times negative 1 plus C equals 2, so this would give me 1 plus C equals 2, so we can see that C ends up being 1. So now we have two of our three answers. Remember that we are looking for a total of three solutions, so we have to go back. Once we have our two solutions from our system of two equations, we have to go back to our original equations and pick any one of them. It really doesn't matter which one you pick, um, it just kind of depends on which one is the easiest. So I am going to choose option one. I'm just going to choose the first equation. Like I said, you can use any one of them, but I'm going to choose the first one. So I'm going to take this equation here, the 3a plus 5b plus 5c equals 2, and I'm going to replace both the a and the c into here. So I have 3 times negative 1 plus 5 times b plus 5 times 1, and this is going to equal 2. So if we simplify the left-hand side, we would have 5b. This is negative 3 plus 5, which is 2 equals 2, so we end up with 5b equals 0, so b would have to be 0. So that gives me our third equation, and if we write this as a, an ordered triple, we would write it as a comma b comma c. So we would have negative 1, 0, and 1 as our solution, if you have to write it as an ordered triple. So because of the fact that this was quite a bit of work, and the more work you have, the more likely you are to make a mistake, I would always go back and plug it back into all of them to see if it works. Um, so I'm going to take my first equation, the 3a plus 5b, so this is just checking, and again you can just check in your head, check in your calculator, I write it out just so that you can physically see that it works. Um, so we would plug this in 3 times negative 1 plus 5 times 0 plus 5 times 1, and we want to know, does this equal 2? So we can see that this works. I have negative 3 plus 0 plus 5, which is definitely 2. So it works in the first equation. Remember, it doesn't matter if it just works in the first equation. It has to work in all three of them. So our second equation is negative 5a minus b minus 6c equals negative 1. So we want to see if we plug in these values, negative 5 times negative 1 minus 0 minus 6 times 1, does this equal negative 1? So this gives us positive 5 minus 0 minus 6, which is indeed negative 1, so we can see that it works in the second equation. Now we want to check the third equation, just to make sure that it works in all three of them, because again, if it doesn't work in all three of them, then it is not the correct solution. So for the last one, we would have negative 4a minus 5b minus 4c. Does that give us 0? So negative 4 times negative 1 minus 5 times 0 minus 4 times 1. Is this equal to 0? So we end up with 5 minus 
sorry, I'm added instead of, we end up with 4 minus 0, uh, minus 4, and that does equal 0. So we can see that it worked in all three. So we know that negative 1, 0, 1 is the solution to these three equations. Um, there are techniques with technology where technology can solve these for you. Anytime you get into LP models or linear programming models that are more than three equations, we tend to use technology to help us solve because if we had to do all of these hand calculations all the time, it's not very efficient. As always, thanks for watching. If there are topics that you need me to cover or other material that you need help with, please just let me know.